We're going to do a lot more baseball in a second, but there's an important story to pass along and a really heartbreaking story, which is that longtime baseball reporter Pedro Gomez died yesterday at the age of 58. Gomez is a guy that had worked in baseball virtually his entire life. He'd worked, obviously, in San Jose, in Sacramento, San Francisco, and he worked at ESPN, which is where I worked with him for 18 years. And I never expected to be watching the Super Bowl and to get phone calls from Carl Ravitch, the longtime baseball tonight host, and Alex Cora, the current Red Sox manager, to tell me the news. And immediately what you realize is that this is a family with which we work with. Like when you work in television, you work in baseball, it's a family. And I spent most of last night just commiserating with friends, whether it was Texan with Mark Mulder or David Ross, the Chicago Cubs manager, or Aaron Boone of the Yankees. And all of us were each sharing with each other, Eduardo Perez, Manny Acta, stories about Pedro and just saying, I can't believe this. I'm so in shock, but he was a wonderful friend and a wonderful guy. And I think for those who didn't know Pedro Gomez, you certainly respected his work. So I'd like to say a, a couple words about his work, which was exemplary. He was the guy who was on the Barry Bonds beat when Bonds was chasing down the home run record in 2001. That is not an easy job day in, day out dealing with Barry Bonds. And Pedro did that at the highest level. He also was critical in uncovering the Balco scandal, which is, again, all about dogged reporting, asking the right questions, and making sure that that story was done properly. And he also would cover the 2003 playoffs, which he says was one of his favorite memories when the Cubs, after the Bartman play, Josh Beckett, Kevin's friend, was joking with him, say, here we go, Pedro, we're going to come back. And a couple of things really stand out about Pedro. As I mentioned, his work was outstanding. But he was incredibly proud of where he came from. You know, baseball is a sport which is about different cultures. And Pedro was very, very proud of his Cuban-American heritage and where he came from. And five years ago, he and Eduardo Perez, others went to Cuba. And it's some of the best work he ever did for ESPN, because you could tell it really came from the heart. And speaking of the heart, there's one thing you knew about Pedro. He was a devoted family man. And he was always talking about his kids, really proud that one of his sons, Rio, was a baseball pitcher. And so when you hear a story like this, you say 58 years old has gone way too young and on a personal level, I'm just going to miss my friend. I, I had a wonderful time with him, cracking jokes together, wonderful memories. He always had a warm smile, a big laugh, a generous spirit, and he always made the conversation about you and not about himself. And I wish I could just thank him one more time for being my friend and for being so supportive of me in my career. And my heart goes out to his family because I can only imagine how hard it is for them because I know how hard it is for me and all the rest of us that worked with Pedro and we're lucky enough to call him our friend. Pedro Gomez once again survived by his wife, Sandy, and his boys, Rio and Dante, and their daughter, Sierra, my deepest condolences to the Gomez family. Rest in peace. We love you, brother.